Hello and welcome everyone. Today in this session, we will understand about links, which is Canada's high value payment system. Just like in India, we have RTGS, real time cross settlement. The name itself is RTGS. Same way, Lynx is the real time cross settlement system in Canada. Earlier it was called as LVTS though. Let's uh, understand some more thing on this links. So let's see the introduction part. The Lynx is Canada's high value payment system, an electronic wire system that facilitates irrevocable transfer of payments in Canadian dollars between participating finance institutions. Now, it is a real-time gross payment system, as I was saying, in which settlement occurs immediately after the clearing of each individual payment, right? Uh, generally in NEFT or ACH payments, we have a, you know, the payments are accumulated in a bulk file and it is sent in a predefined time. But here, uh, the payments are settled one-to-one. -one. If the funds is available in the settlement account, then the payment will be settled. Resulting in the instant transfer of the funds in the central bank money from one participant to another. Now, prior to links, the, uh, we had LVTS, Last Value Payment Transfer System, or Last Value Transfer System, and it was replaced by links in no, September 2021. Now, LVTS was the primary system in Canada for electronic wire transfers of large sums of money and was operated by Payments Canada. It permitted the participating institutions and their clients to send large sums of money securely in the real time complete certainty that the payment will settle. Now, uh, like in India, we have this high value payment system, RTGS, wherein you know you can transfer more than two lakhs. And where in Canada, you have this links, which will be working similar to that of RTGS system. Now let's see this an example of links, which works in the same manner the way it works for the Fed bar or the same manner the way it works in the real-time customer segment in India or call it as in any of the country, the high value payment system, right? The real-time gross settlement system works in the similar manner. So I've taken an example over here. There is a city bank, which is in Canada, Canada. Now we have a customer in Citibank Canada whose name is Limited, a corporate customer who wants to make a transfer to another corporate customer who holds an account at Standard Chartered Bank Canada, Toronto. Now, as soon as it receives an instruction from this LTD customer, it will then send out this RTGS payment. Now in Canada, they have this traditional empty message format, which they use for in the payment system. And they send out this empty model three message for this payment system, and then sends out to this link system. And link system, then it, it checks on its settlement account, master account, if it has a sufficient balance in this city cat, right? then it will process the payment and then it will send the credit advice to the civil CATT, that is Standard Chartered Bank Canada Toronto. And then they will debit the Nostro account, that is a settlement account of City Cat at Central Bank. And it will credit to the Standard Chartered Bank Canada Toronto. Now, this is what the flow is, and, that's, and then they send out this empty one, two, three messages to the Standard Chartered Bank Canada, and then they will, you know, draw, ensure that the customer PLC gets credited with the Canadian dollar and twenty million. So, what it means is the transaction once made is irrevocable, and the payments is, you know, settled one to one. As we see that one tran payment transfer of Canadian dollar and twenty million was settled in the. Uh, central bank of the clearing and settlement mechanism. Now, central bank and link system works together because the, the, the central bank holds settlement account of all the participating banks in the Canada. And the uh, link system just ensures that the clearing happens 
uh, without any issues and they ensure the clearing is done and it ensures the settlement is done in the settlement accounts and thereby the banks would be able to get the amount in the settlement account of the bank and if only they want to get back into their account the central bank would do it or even in the end at the end of the day the balance will be sent out to the bank's account and this is how the process and at the end of the day they will send out this account statement report it can be mt950 or mt940 depending upon the agreement which they have it and then this is how it would look like it is same the way we have done or gone through for any other rtj system now in this case the account statement report if you see this there are two there is two lines of it uh, which is uh, you know 20 million which is the debit and 50 million which is the credit 50 million might be the start of the day funding which had happened early in the morning before uh, when it so when the stump starts and the rtgs schedule time starts for the period outside now they have this Opening balance also available and the closing balance also available at the account statement report when they, they send out. Same way for the account statement report for the standard chart of bank, you has also been sent out by this clearing and settlement mechanism at the end of the day. And through this, they will get to know the entirety, the transactions, debit or credit that has happened to the account. This is just the Excel based translation of the you know, messages of MT940 or MT950 or gas management 053. Now this entire thing, the messages which I have told you at MT103 and that credit device MT910 and debit device MT900, which will be sent by the link system to the city card as they have will be debiting this um, settlement account with the amount of 20 million, right? The city card will be receiving this MT900 and uh, uh, SBL card will receive MT910 credit device as the settlement account of it will be created with the 20 million candidate there. So MT900, MT910, MT103, MT940, all of these messages, right? And now it will be migrated into ISO 2022 because this is what the plan is by 2025. It would be fully into ISO 2022. And from November 20, 2022, uh, it will work as for the schedule with the SWIFT, which will incorporate both MTs and MX till the time the bank get enough time to fully migrate into ISO 2022. Now, this is the links message migration plan to ISO 2022. So, uh, by 2022, links multiple releases to support ISO 2022. And uh, by November 2022, that is by this year, the banks should be able to send and receive the messages in MD and MX, right? So now in order to uh, learn this migration, right? What Swift Payment Guru is providing you is an opportunity to learn the migration plan. And we have the courses for it. We have both online and offline courses. Now online courses includes both uh, It provides integrated course, which includes Swift payment course, which, are, which is around 20 hours. And same way for migration to ISO 2022, uh, which is also of around 20 hours. So almost 40 hours of uh, videos, you can get it if you're getting the offline course. And uh, this would be very beneficial for you because you need to understand your MTs and then you need to also understand your MX. Now, it is not only about the mapping it is all it is more the it is more about the uh you know the business flows and then uses of the message and then mapping and then account posting all those validations that is done for the payments everything is available over here so it will be definitely be beneficial for you if you're walking into this high value payment system any high value payment system let it be the links let it be the fed wire let it be uh, the major player for the networks like Swift or SEPA, anything. It is going to be very beneficial because here you'll get to learn about many things 
the infrastructure part as a business consultant, how would you be able to, you know, uh, able to go for the requirements, what you should do before you start a project, how you can prepare the backlog items, what are the different applications you need to ensure that the necessary uh, de uh, development needs to be done, what are the different activities you need to ensure it, what are the data mappings, what are the new rich data which is available. A lot of questions right, will be clarified over this course and definitely this is going to be a uh, very good course for you. And I'm taking very minimal cost for this. Uh, I'll tell you about this course cost uh, quickly. So these are these highlights of the online courses. And uh, if you reach out to us, we will definitely let you know the entire thing uh, in the email as well. So you'll be receiving, if you are taking the offline videos, you, you, you would be getting all these uh, videos, which is already uploaded in the YouTube. I have made myself now uh, designed in such a way that it is really beneficial for you to walk in the current organization for your migration as also if you are planning to switch to an organization now the huge demand is there all over the world because all over the world the high value payment system along with the cross-border payment system is migrating into iso 2022 so by 2025 all those traditional messages which were used uh, let it be swift empties or be the proprietary message everything is going to be retired and iso 2022 is only going to be used around the world in all the value payment system right so that's why it is very important for you to learn this iso 2022 and make use of this golden period of three years which is there where you can uh, you know switch to an organization and uh, earn a handsome salary you would get uh, okay now you would get some empty dynamics MX converter tool which I have developed and it it looks like this where you can populate the data in the Excel sheet in the cells and if you just convert there's an option developer option and click on export then you will get this respected respective XML message basically ISO 2022 message that is it is only empty to MX conversion tool and you'll get for MT103 to M MX uh, now Pinger zero MT103 to MX Pax Pax J08, MT101 to Pain J01, MT202 to Pax J09, MT202 cover to Pax J09 cover. These are the four important messages for which I have developed this converter tool. And it had taken a lot of time for me to do this research and this development. So you will be getting this in this course free of cost. And these are the syllabus which is already there in my other videos, but just to quickly know, these are the syllabus which is covered for the integrated course, which includes Swift payments courses, uh, which will help you to understand fr starting from the basics of the payments. And then gradually you learn about the Swift payments, all those end to end from category one, two and nine. And with respect to the messages which I mentioned in this, and then you learn about Swift GPI, and then we'll move into this ISO 2022 syllabus where it has a lot of information in terms of the infrastructure, how you should get started, what is the basics, when was this ISO 2022 you know, developed, advantages, disadvantages, granularity, CVPR plus high value payment system, differences, what migration plan, and how is Swift helping today's, uh, and what are the different channels which needs to be uh, taken for consideration all of those and then finally the different messaging uh, which includes facts payment clearing and settlement payment initiation gas management messages not only with the messages perspective also in terms of the business flows and the business use cases is also covered as part of this when i have taken uh, each topics for the different messaging so it's a very beautiful opportunity for you to grab this. And for this, you just have to email us if you are interested and you just have to email to us at swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. And you just can mention that if you are interested for the online course or the offline course, and then you would be uh, getting the information as soon as possible. Now, um, all right. So, so the cost for it is very minimal, as I told you, just 
the integrated course, shift payment course, plus a migration to ISO 2022 course. If you're if you're opting for the online course, which it, which comes around 30 hours, and it would be up for a month course. And depending upon whether you would like to go for the weekdays batch or the weekend batch, you can opt for it. And then uh, as per agreed timings, and then we can schedule the timings for your training. And just in case, if you are uh, if you do not have much time for your online classes and if you want to spend save some uh, money then in that circumstances we have this other option wherein you know i have uh, recorded all the videos for the entire session so which is around 36 to 30 40 hours and you can get both the videos of swift payment course and migration to iso 2020 course in just twelve thousand rupees international rupees itself and it, it and it includes all those uh, Reference documents, translator tool, everything which you will receive from the online training would also be receiving in this uh, recorded videos as well. And just international rupees 12,000. So just grab this opportunity and just send us this email, uh, swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. I'll spell it out S W I F T P A Y M E N T G U R U at gmail.com. You just write it down saying that you are interested for the integrated course online or uh, offline for the videos and then we'll get back with you the necessary information how it works is if you are opting for the offline uh, offline course which means the videos right so what will happen is you will be asked to provide your email id which is linked to your uh, youtube so what we do is uh, we provide the access to that particular email id wherein you know uh, we also send out the links of all the videos which are there available and uh, once you grant once we grant the access and the links of the videos we share it if you click on it you will be able to access it access it and only with that email id which is uh, used to log in in your youtube if you use that youtube account then you will be able to access the videos otherwise with other email ids linked YouTube, you won't be able to access the videos. However, it will be for the lifetime. So this is how we uh, operate for the offline courses. And this is a, a very useful course for you to migrate or to switch the organization, no matter whether you are a developer, tester, or, or a, a, anyone, even in a production operation user. If you want to switch into your, this business consultant domain, then I would recommend you that uh, go ahead with this course and this is definitely going to help you a lot of requirement is there just google or search in the knockery you'll find a lot of openings not only in india but around the world so thank you all i'll see you next time with a new topic